Hey, you're looking to blend paint on a miniature like this one? Then check out this video. It doesn't take much effort to blend paint, just a few tips and tricks and a bit of practice. Hey, welcome back to Tangible Day. In this video, I show you how to blend paint on cloaks and stuff. It won't take very long, so stick around and check it out. The miniature I'm painting is from Descent, the board game. Lots of miniatures here, so I want to paint them quick and efficiently. You start with a prime model, light gray Vallejo surface primer airbrushed on. I have another video showing you how to do this. To start, of course, you want to base coat the model. And before we do that, I just want to show you how I do it so that we have a smooth base coat to start from. And this is probably the most important step after priming your model. You want a smooth, solid coat of color. I'm using paint from Green Stuff World, straight from the pot, undiluted. And as I apply it to this prime flat white card, you can see that it's very opaque. It may not be the smoothest coat, but adding thin layers on top will smooth this all out. Pretty easy. Of course, to properly blend paint, you'll need to learn how to thin out your paint too. So here you can see where I take the dry palette, move some of the paint over to a clean well, add a little bit of water, one to one ratio. And you can see as I brush on this white card, the paint runs much more smoothly and there's a bit of a transparency to it. And you can see this even better after the paint has dried. Of course, knowing how paint behaves just like this will help you blend paint in any surface, on any surface. Here I'm taking a second color, this violet purple, Straight from the pot, undiluted, I base coat next to the paint I want to blend into. In this case, I place it right next to this brown color. It may take one to two coats to get a smooth, solid coat of that second color. And of course, remember to allow everything to dry before moving on to the next step, which is to blend the two colors together. The easiest and fastest way to do this is to do it in a dry palette. Put a little bit of the first color and the second color in the palette in a one-to-one -one ratio, like so, and mix them together. And after you have an even mix, all you have to do is apply it at the boundary between the two base coats you've already applied on your surface, just like this. Now what's really cool is if you let this dry, it should blend pretty evenly. And from a distance, this is already pretty smooth looking. Check that out. Now the question is, can you do this on a 3D sculpted surface? That's all you have to do now. Of course you can do it. And to start, I lay out my colors just as before, but now I'm using a wet palette. And the reason is, it saves me paint. But you could also do this on a regular dry palette like I showed you earlier with that white flat card. And all you're gonna do is base coat the model the same way. Oh, by the way, the type of brush you use doesn't really matter. I'm just using a pretty cheap synthetic mix sable brush. As I showed you earlier, it's a little bit easier when the paint can flow off the brush easily. So after loading it, I just take a bit of the moisture off and start base coating the model. Notice how I'm dabbing on the paint, covering the crevices and the little nooks and crannies that are on the surface of this cloak. I really enjoy base coating because it's simple, but for the sake of this video, to keep things short, I'm gonna speed it up. Here we go. Now the key here is to cover up all the primer in an even base coat of that first primary color. It could take three or four layers to get a smooth, even coat of that first color. And that's really important that you get an even coat of that paint. And this whole process for this first step took me about five minutes. And after everything's dry and I'm happy with it, watch how I add the second color. Load the paint on your brush, just like I showed you there. Then apply the paint undiluted onto the model exactly where you want that color to be strongest. Use it undiluted and cover those areas just like we did on that flat white card earlier in the video. Here, I'll speed it up and zoom in so you see what I'm doing. I'm just going over the edges at the tips of the cloak where I think the color should be. For your model, it might be somewhere else, a different color, of course, but the process is the same. Just apply the coats of paint in layers. It might take three to four coats to get an even solid smooth coat of that second color. Don't worry about blending yet. I keep layering over the same area, keep adding paint on top of paint layers until the paint color is a nice solid block of paint. Again, I'm not actually blending the two colors together. The purple and the brown are still separate. Check it out. Almost done. Remember the flat card earlier? This is the same idea. You have two colors side by side. And how do we blend them together? We mix. We mix the two colors in a one to one ratio, just as we've done earlier. You can do this on a wet palette or any palette you like, one to one. Mix thoroughly. Look at that beautiful mix. Perfect. Taking a closer look at the model, you can see where I'll apply this paint, and here I am doing that. I apply at the boundary between the purple and the brown paint on the cloak. Again, following the exact same method 
I showed you on that flat white card earlier in the video. It's pretty straightforward. You want even smooth coats. It may take several layers to build up that middle color to smooth out that boundary. But as you go around the model, all you're doing is softening those edges between the boundary between the purple and that brown paint. Do it over the entire model. Here I'm speeding things up. It's the same idea. And you can keep doing this over and over again, adding that middle color between your two main colors. And the more you do it, the smoother the blend becomes. And as you noticed earlier, when you use thinner paint, this also keeps things transparent. Repeat this process over and over until you're happy with the blend. And that's the basics of how you blend paint on a cloak like this. Two colors. Look how smooth that is. All done. What do you think? I'm sure some of you have questions and I'd love to answer them. Leave a comment below if you liked the video, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.